it's Cleo here and today I'm going to be showing you a really huge LPS haul. Let's go! Okay, here is the box. I think we have so much stuff here today that we're just going to have to do a speed run through all the accessories. Okay, after looking at a website called LPSmerch.com, I found out that all these accessories go with this pet in the same set. It's not complete, but it's quite close to being. So the set comes with these cute little leaves that I think could work like stepping stones. We've got a pretty blue pond, some little bamboo shoots or leaves of some kind, a really cute little coconut shell, which I think could be quite useful for something, a big old steak for our feline friend, a little tub of a plant of some kind that looks a bit too blue to be natural, but it's pretty interesting. We've got a little basket here and a whole load of different bananas, even a big bunch of them, a little yellow bench, and of course we have our first little pet shop from the hall, which looks like a little leopard to me. It's in the short haired cat mold, but it's also a wild cat, which is pretty cool. I really love the colours of this one. And it's also in mint condition. Isn't she pretty? We also have this little bathroom set. Very cute. It comes with different soaps and shampoos, a little dressing table or mirror of some kind, a very cute little bath shower and a lovely shade of blue. I think that could be very useful. Lastly, the set also comes with a hairdryer, a little handheld mirror, some bubbles to put on a pet's head, and a little ducky. Next up, we have this adorable little farm set. It comes with this collie, complete with a white and blue hat. I think it would look a little cuter with the more regular eye shape, but I still very much like the colours of this one. It also comes with two cartons of what looks like milk, two little fences, a blue bucket, a fork, corn and apples, a little trailer to be towed along by, I think, a horse. And lastly, a little blue tractor. Look how cute this is. The collie will plug onto it like so to roll around on it. Huzzah! I also got these cute little splodges of snow for these bear's ears and these snowballs. The bundle, sorry about that. The bundle didn't actually come with these bears, but I figured out that they belonged to them. I happened to have them. There's also this little vending machine where all we have to do is take one little packet of what looks like dog food, pop it in there, and then turn the switch and it comes out the bottom, which is a lot of fun. There's some various accessories here which include a cute little pink bow, a banana and a leaf, two bottles of water or something along those lines, a pink crown that looks like it would fit a short-haired cat, a sand pit with a blue sand castle, and a seesaw, and then some kind of stand with a swirling flower on it. I'm not quite sure what that is. And of course we have this cute little blue hummingbird. I love this pet. Look how cute it is. I've also got the little paint splodge short haired cat, complete with the bucket of blue and pink paint, but sadly not the blue paint kitten that goes with it. I think this pet's colours are so simple, but really pretty at the same time. I actually had it before, but I sold it. So I'm glad to finally have it again because it's grown on me. I do very much like it. I also have these two random short-haired cats. This one is very clearly a Siamese one with very pretty wavy patterns in her eyes. She's also a lovely shade of a slightly yellowy cream and then she's got quite a warm grey mask going around her eyes and a warm pink in her ears. She's just really pretty. I love the colours. Then we have this warm grey, what looks like a tabby cat to me. She's got really pretty colour eyes and little flowers in them. She's got stripes going down her back and along her head here. I think she's really pretty. Perhaps not my favourite. I think I prefer the Siamese. But this one is still very cute. Then there's also a whole load of accessories from the Get Better Centre. There's some bottles of presumably pills here, a little bandage to go on somebody's foot, a thermometer, a bin, and a cute little bed here. And there's also a stethoscope, which is huge, a pink food bowl, whatever this thing is called, I can't remember the name of it, a syringe that looks much too fat to be effective, another tool I can't remember the name of, and an ice pack you can strap onto a pet's head. And then there's a cage here, which seems kind of weird to me because there aren't any people in Woodle's pet shop as far as I know. Who's keeping the pets in this cage? A little bit weird. I also have these two little Maltese dogs. One is a really, really bright white with tealy eyes and pretty pink bows. They're not my favourite type of pet, but I still think she's quite pretty. This one's really more of a sand colour with white highlights, hazel eyes and also pink bows. There's also this adorable green little go-kart and some glasses to go with it, which originally belonged to a tortoise, I believe, but... My mascot has a magnet on it, and this also has a magnet on it, which means 
she'll stick on and she can ride it. And the colour's perfect too. Hooray! There's a very cute little birthday party for three going on here, complete with three little blue cups, a very pretty little birthday table, what looks like lemon meringue pie for the cake, two very adorable birthday hats, a little teddy bear, a mouse, and a ladle. Next up here are some really big and random accessories. First up we have what looks like a giant pink bunny slipper, which, cute as it is, I'm not quite sure what a pet would use it for. Is it a bed or a couch? Let me know in the comments if you have any idea. Next we've got a pink sand pit, which looks pretty cute. It's got bright yellow sand in it, and a little sand castle in the middle. A bit small though. There's a rather dirty, bright pink skateboard here, but it also has the magnet function, so... Whee! That didn't go very fast. Try that again. Woo! Another scooter or skateboard, but this time it has a peg on it. A very pretty seesaw in pink, green and orange. It worked rather well, too. A little tree trunk could be very useful for setups. Some lockers, which unfortunately all open on this end. Not going to be very useful for getting to your own supplies. A picnic basket, which opens like so. Quite clever. Some kind of beehive accessory. Pretty pink flowers on it. What looks like some kind of LPS hammock. Once again, I think that could look pretty cute in some kind of bedroom. And lastly, we have some kind of pumpkin. Let's see if I can get my mascot in there. It's a bit of a squeeze, but there we go. Huzzah! Next, there are these two pretty much identical German Shepherds, so we'll just look at the one that's in better condition. She's a camel colour with a white gradient going up her front with really, really pretty violet eyes, a little brown nose and dark tips to her ears. Unfortunately, this one does have a little mark on the back of her head, though. Here are some more random and slightly larger accessories. We have a clear blue cobweb, a little strange. A little purple chair, which looks like it could belong in a hair salon, but I'm not sure. A very cool surfboard, I love the colours of it. Another skateboard, and this time it has two pegs on it, and it's really big. A little hat, I don't know what pet it would belong to. Let me know once again in the comments if you have any idea. An incomplete punching bag. An incomplete banana rowboat, which would be very cool if it had the oars. Random blue shell. Orange ladder. Something to hang a bird on, but once again it looks like it must be incomplete. And... A pink and orange trampoline! It doesn't actually bounce, but you can pretend it does. Next up we have these two cocker spaniels, and yes, the one on the left is a double of my mascot, so let's take a look at her first. She's a very slightly rusty brown colour, with a blonde highlight going down her ears here, and a little bit on her legs too. She's got emerald green eyes, a darker nose, and I just think she's really adorable, if I needed to say. She's also in pretty mint condition. Yes, this is undoubtedly a very cute pet. And next up we have this super pretty, almost purpley coloured pet. Look at her, she's a very, very slightly violet grey, and then she's got a slightly greyish white for the rest of her body. I really love this colour combination. And then she's also got indigo colour, kind of watery looking eyes, little flowers in them. She's got a little flower over here. Unfortunately, her nose is a little bit chipped, but this pet always seems to have a chipped nose. Where, whenever I see her for sale, she always has a chipped nose. Obviously, they didn't paint it thick enough or something. Something along those lines, but I still really love this pet. Then we have a whole load of different random food accessories. We've got some little green and yellow apples over here, some corn, a very pretty little piece of watermelon, some orange cookies, some golden carrots, some more normal looking carrots, three different types of cheese, three different whole fish here, even a pink one if there is such a thing, a can of yellow sardines and some other cans of fish, and some little acorns. Next up I have these two random Persian cats. Let's take a look at the grey one first. She's a very pretty, slightly warm grey, with white highlights going around her chest and around her eyes and mouth and tail. She's got very cute little pink paws, and she's also got kind of amethyst coloured eyes and a pink nose to match her feet. I think this one's really cute and I love her eyelashes, she looks so pretty. Next up we have this very unusual looking pet who is bright yellow with pink markings on her. She's got a white puff of chest fur, flowery markings around her eyes, stripes up here, and she's also not only got flowers in her eyes, but she's also got a star shape on either side. Very unusual. There's also a few different little toys for the pets. There are two little mice over here. 
some different coloured ropes, presumably a dog to play with. Then we've got some pretty strange looking teddy bears in different ice cream colours. And we've even got a little monkey toy. We've got three more cats here. Let's take a look at a little tiger in the middle first. It's a gorgeous, very soft orange colour with dark brown stripes going all around its body. Orange highlights in its ears, little pink paws and pink nose, and big sleepy looking blue eyes. I think this pet's really adorable and I love its colour scheme. Now this cat is a particular type of cat I can't remember the name of, but it will be on screen right now. It's got orange and black patches on a white base, sleepy blue eyes and a little pink nose. I'm not so keen on this one's face, but I do like the colours. And lastly we have this sand coloured little kitten with orange stripes going around its tail and little orange highlight up here with orange paws, bright green eyes, a pink nose and little teardrop shines in its eyes. I think this one's really adorable. There's also some random different things to drink from here. There's some upside down drinking bottles which you find in rabbits and guinea pigs cages, a blue food or water bowl, a really bright pink water bowl with a green umbrella sticking out of it for a fancy pet, a double pink food and water bowl, and some blue canisters for whatever you imagine there to be in there. Random things for your pet's hair, including a yellow comb, two little hair brushes, two hair dryers, and a handheld mirror for your vain pets. There's also three more dogs here. Let's take a look at this yellow greyhound first. She's just a really pretty buttermilk colour with white highlights going up her feet, adorable little peachy nose and ears, light green eyes and some little sweat drops going down her head. Not sure how I feel about those. Then we have this super cute little husky. She's so pretty. She's kind of a cool stone beige colour. She's got watery looking eyes and this lovely teal colour. Bright pink tongue and ears. And then she's got a beige colour going up her head here and really pretty patterns. And she's got a little fluff here white paws, a darker tail, and I just think this one's really adorable. I love her eyelashes. She's just cute! And I'm going to be honest right now, I dislike this pet so much that I'm not even going to look at him. I'll have to see if I can sell or trade it. And here's a whole load of accessories the pets can wear. First up we have some little rabbit ears that you could strap on. Not quite sure why a pet would want those. A little purple cap that you could clip on somehow, I'm not sure which pet it belongs to. Some little protective goggles of some kind, I don't know what pet those fit either. A lone roller skate, two pretty collars and really lovely colours. A bright orange, very cool bandana, two lots of pretty dirty looking earmuffs, ew. A ski mask of some kind, once again no idea which pet it fits, that's something of a theme this video isn't it? What looks like a plate that you could strap onto a pet's head, I don't know what that's for. A purple bow to strap on, a pretty pair of orange sunglasses, a round pair of pink sunglasses, and a very cool set of pink ice skates. Which pet do these fit? I'd really love to know. And then there's three more dogs. Let's check out the Jack Russell in the middle first. He's got a really cool zigzag pattern going around his face, kind of an orangey beige colour going around his eyes, chocolate brown hair and on his back, and some really cool looking eyes. A little zigzag pattern going along the green there, and then he's got some kind of half moons going on there. Pretty cool. Although, Jack Russells, as anyone who has them will know, don't stand up very well. Next up we have this really cool looking English Bulldog. I love this caramel colour and then it's also got dark chocolate colour markings on it here and here and a little flower and then it's got what I like to think of as white chocolate markings going down its face here and inside here and over here. It's kind of a pattern going on here. As you see it's got two dark ones here and one dark paw here, or toe even. It's got more little flowers on the back of it. I'm not the biggest fan of the English Bulldogs, but this one looks really cool with its reddish orange eyes and the flowers and that pattern going on. I just wish it was on a spaniel. Then we have this really cool snow white German Shepherd. Look at it, it's got blue highlights going on here, snowflakes in its eyes, aqua blue colour here, a dark kind of tan colour nose. And unfortunately, it looks like someone's painted with a nail polish on the front of it, and I'll have to see if I can remove that. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching!